After five years of silence, the Vatican has made its financial statements public. It's a way to show where its funds go and how they're spent. This is what the Pope wants, transparency, linearity, commitment, to correctly manage, based on the need of the church and the poor, the money the faithful offer to the church. Juan Antonio Guerrero, prefect of the Secretariat for the Economy, made the Holy See's financial statements public. They're the balance sheets of the work of the Pope, the Vatican's 60 departments, and the 125 nunciatures spread around the world. In 2019, the Holy See spent about $373 million, about $13 million more than its income. 53% of its income came from real estate management and financial revenues, about $192 million. 18% came from external donations, including from dioceses and the faithful, about $65 million. 15%, or about $52 million, came from fees to visit the catacombs, as well as book and photograph sales. The rest, another 14%, or about $50 million, came from donations from Vatican City and from IOR, the Vatican's bank. As far as expenses go, besides salaries, the majority goes toward paying for the Vatican's public communications, about 22%. About 21% goes toward nunciatures and diplomacy. About 11% toward the congregation in charge of missionaries, and about 8% toward the congregation in charge of the Middle Eastern churches. The pandemic will make matters more complicated next year. The deficit in 2019 amounted to about $13 million. Next year, this number could be between 80 and 171 million.